hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to download and install kali linux on vmware so friends first of all uh, we have to download it so first of all let's go to the download kali linux just type here download kali linux and just click here get kali so now i have to download installer image so like uh, I'm not going to download virtual machine like a snapshot for uh, like pre-built image okay so i'm going to download here installer image okay for so you can see this is for window and this is for apple okay so i'm going to download for apple this one installer image complete offline installation with customize okay now just click here to download here now you can see downloading is started here after download we'll install it on vmware okay now friends you can see we have downloaded successfully kali linux to your 2024.4 version okay now let's go to vmware then we'll install it okay now click on file then new virtual machine then select here recommended typical recommended next we'll select here downloaded os now click on open now click on next linux 64 bit okay now click on next now we can put here kali linux name beam virtual machine name here okay now we'll select here folder where we can install it okay let me install it on my e drive vm create new folder now select now click on ok now click on next 100 gb 100 gb in a single file and click on next customize hardware now i'm providing ram size here uh, it's a 8 gb processor 2 2 okay now network adapter will be 10 okay now click on close now click on finish here now we have created virtual machine here now just click here to power on now we can select here graphic install okay if you want to select install it it will like cli so i will select here graphic install select it now language will select english now click on continue now select your time zone here usa now click on continue keyboard type american english yes now detecting hardware scanning loading additional components now friends will select host image kali now click on continue now now we'll click in here so we don't have any domain name so click on continue so I will put here rock technet username will be technet and pass let's click here continue okay now let's the please enter real name of this user the use by instance different by email okay now username new account first name will be original choice the username should start lower case which can be for any communication letter okay uh, so let's use t tech guide okay tech okay technet now click on continue now we have to provide pass username and password okay okay now click on continue now we have to select desired time zone here Pacific okay configure the clock detect disk starting the partitioner okay partition of the disk if you want to do guided entire disk partition man manual partition here let's select guide entire partition click on continue now select our uh, hard disk 
now all file in one partition will keep here okay so friends we are not going to create another partition now click on continue so now you can select here finish partitioning and write change to disk okay now click on continue now we have to select yes if your continuous change list will be written disk otherwise you will be able to make further change manually okay so right change to disk yes partitioning disk here install the base system to the hard disk here now friends installation begin here and <coughs> it's installing the base system to the disk now friends on this moment we have to select here what what we what feature we are going to install it is a standard desktop environment and default tools you can customize okay and so friend, now we can customize our tools watch what we are going to install it on desktop environment okay so we'll going to select here all things which going to install here now click on continue now installing the softwares which we have customized here okay <sighs> so default display manager will be gdm3 now click on continue installing it now uh, now friends you can see install the grub bootloader it seems that you know installation so we have to select yes here to install grub loader to primary drive okay now click on continue then i have to select here device dev slash sda to install bootloader now click on continue now it's installing grub loader now finishing the installation now now friends installation is completed so it's time to reboot it now click continue to reboot okay finishing the installation now friends you can see installation is done and it started kali linux is started here so you can see user technet okay now we can log in with provided user provided password okay technet now it's successfully logged in ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho so you can see Kalinux 2024 successfully installed here. So friends, in this video we have seen how to install Kali Linux on VMware. So thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.